Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of Path Behind the Modules. This is Lesson 3 from Module 3, and it's real world positive, negative numbers, and zero. Okay, classwork, example one. A look at sea level. We're very close to sea level because the Ionian Sea is just a short drive east of here. Probably what? 15 minutes, 20 minutes, depending on where you're going. Okay, so anyhow, the picture below shows three different people participating in activities at three different elevations. With a partner, discuss what you see. What do you think the word, word elevation means in this situation? Okay, so what do we have here? We've got this dude up here hiking. That must be Ed. It's got to be. Okay. Sailing on the Ionian Sea. Okay. And I'm scuba diving, so I'm below sea level. Okay, so I'm underwater, so I need to show some bubbles coming. Okay. All right. So that's our scenario. So with a partner, discuss what you see. Do you think the word, what do you think the word elevation means in this situation? Okay. So what you should have come up with is if you are on the sea level, then your elevation with respect to the sea is elevation zero. If you're below underwater, your elevation is negative. X number of meters, okay? And if you're climbing, you're going up, say you're up on Mount Etna, then that is positive meters. So we're above sea level, we're at sea level, we're below sea level. So if I did this as a vertical number line where the sea level is zero, this would be negative meters down here. This would be positive meters up here, okay? Number one, write an integer to represent each situation. All right, so I'm going to give you these examples. So give me a moment, I'll bring them. Okay, so here's three scenarios. So let's um, answer these questions here to represent each situation. All right, so the scuba diver is 30 feet below sea level. Okay, so scuba diver, I would say is negative 30 feet. A sailor is at sea level, zero feet. The hiker is two miles, which is 10,560 feet above sea level. Okay, so I can either say two miles or 10,560 feet is Represent elevation of feet or represent our parts. Okay, so up is positive, at sea level is zero, and below is negative. Okay, number two, use an appropriate scale to graph each of the following situations on the number line to the right. Also write an integer to represent both situations. A hiker is 15 feet above sea level, so that would be 15 feet. A diver is 20 feet below sea level, so that's negative 20 feet. Okay, so I only have a few markers here, so I would probably start down here. We're not going less than negative 20, and if I count up 15, 10, 5, 0, 5, 10, 15, it fits. So I'm going to go by increments of 5, negative 15, negative 10, negative 5, 0, 5, 10, 15, 20. Now if I were to graph these, it says graph each following situation. 15 feet is here. That's what they mean by graphing. Just put a dot. Minus 20 feet is there. For three, for each statement, there are two related items, one and two. 
determine which related statement, one or two, is expressed correctly in circle. Then correct the other related statements so that both parts one and two are stated correctly. So here's A. A submarine is submerged 800 feet below sea level. The depth of the submarine is negative 800 feet below sea level. 800 feet below sea level can be represented by the integer negative 800. This is the correct statement. The problem with this statement is the depth of the submarine is negative 800 feet below. If you say negative and below, that's a double negative and it makes it positive. So the depth of the submarine is 800 feet below sea level. That's the way to make that true. Okay? Do not use double negatives. It's like saying, I didn't do nothing. That means you did something. B, the elevation of a coral reef with respect to sea level is given as negative 150 feet. The coral reef is 150 feet below sea level. That is correct. So if I do a circle around that, the coral reef is 150 feet below sea level. That is correct. The depth of the coral reef is negative 150 feet below sea level. Again, we have a negative below, which is negative, negative, making it positive. We cannot say double negatives. The depth of the coral reef is 150 feet below sea level. We need to correct the statement. Okay? That's the end of lesson three. Your problem, sir.